as we go boat shopping. I am so excited for this next journey. I really don't have the name of these boats, which could be a problem, but it's okay. I'll put them up on the screen if I can get them. This one was, I think, a 39 foot, which I really like. Don't know if it was just because it was the first boat we saw, but it has been now canceled out of the picture. It had plenty of storage on the back and the fishing sport deck that Jake wanted. And then like when you go inside, it had the floors that I loved. It was very small. And you'll see kind of what I mean with the more boats that we view. And just for some context, the reason we're looking for a boat is impartial for an Airbnb, but also for fishing. I love the little dinette and the little portholes. It was nice and roomy for two people. But like I said, we want to use that as an Airbnb. So the more sleeping places you have, the better. It did have a little hot stove burner thing. <laughs> and then the bathroom was a wet bath, which is very normal. I loved how wide it was. On the pictures, it looked really big. Then we went and stayed the night at Margaritaville Hotel. It was gorgeous. I love the little chandelier and the giant football here's our room we had the little bench there which was nice king bed me <laughs> and then you can see my laptop I was editing but it was really nice roomy the TV the little desk area which is probably where I should have been editing and I love this little plane. They actually had a Keurig, which was pretty neat. We went downstairs and got coffee, but I did like that. Oh, and the little mini fridge. But did y'all notice those handles? I want those in the boat. I had a little chair. And then of course you go outside to the balcony, which had an amazing view. I think we were on the fourth floor. I want to say it's either fourth or fifth I'm pretty sure these are your damn pants where? Mm -hmm. let me see them <laughs> those are my shorts uh huh <laughs> Where I put those shorts because I remembered folding. Oh, yeah, that's, there's a reason why they stayed in there for so long. And I couldn't find them. Because I picked them up and I was like, these feel funny. <laughs> they definitely were yours. Okay. Alright, so this is the bathroom. I love the tiles, the color. It was just beautiful. Nice, bright. And then that flamingo painting, so pretty. The next boat we went and saw was a Hatteras. This one had work done to the engine but the interior was something else so Hatteras used to be my favorite boat and favorite boat name which kind of still is but I'm not sold on a Hatteras anymore and that's because we've seen some way better boats and sorry for the jumpy filming I was trying to view it through the camera because it was so dark but it was a nice two bedroom, two bath. Needed a lot of work. There were some leaks. As you can see there, the lines is coming down. A bit of water on the countertop, it looks like. It was very dark in this boat, so it's hard to see at the time. Like I can see now, it was fine on the camera, which is weird for how dark it is. 
Like you can see Jake even had a flashlight. I like the size of the bed. It did have a little air conditioning. This was the second bathroom, which was right off the master. The floors definitely need work. Look at all the dust. I liked the little kitchen. It wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite. You'll see my favorite later. Or one of my favorites, I guess. The next video of boat shopping, you guys will see my favorite all-time ship. This one was a little front bunk. Had a nice little air conditioning unit. And then these steps up. I mean, it was a blank canvas in a way. You could do a lot with it, but it also need a lot of work. And these little sketchy stairs, I went up. And here it is, the top of the boat, where you would drive from, all gauges, everything. I mean, it was a very beautiful boat. Hatteras are known for being beautiful and kind of luxury in a way. This one just wasn't taken care of. The next boat we went to see was really small and we learned that small boats are out. But look at this one. So it had a little bathroom, of course the wet bath. Jake's demonstrating it for us. It had a nice little step down into like a little bed area. So it did have more sleeping than the first one that we viewed. The storage was actually pretty impressive on this boat. Then we saw a little fishy and I had to film it. <laughs> this was the next boat that we went to see. This one was a trailered boat and that means we could take it down when we go but again it's small. If it's on a trailer it's probably too small for us. <laughs> had a little bed underneath there which I didn't like. And then the front would go down to the bed. And then I have a bathroom, which is actually a pretty nice size for the boat. And it's actually one of the cleanest things on the boat. <laughs> this one was gorgeous. This is the living area. I really did like this boat. I thought the candle was a fire hazard. I feel like that's a weird thing to have a boat. Maybe that's just me. Jake was impressed with the built-in can a uh, coffee maker. So this one had two bedrooms. It had the bunk beds. I'm sorry, I should say cabins, maybe. <laughs> and this was the front. I didn't really like the bag. It was a little sketchy in my opinion. It looked like moisture on the ceiling, but not sure. I did like the drawers. Those were nice. Once I figured out how to open them. <laughs> and this is the head. Just a nice two door entry to it. I'll show it better in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so you have the shower. And then I have the toilet to the side. A little sink. Just a nice little bathroom. A little stairway. I actually opened up in this boat. It gets you to your engines and things like that. Not really exactly sure what's all under that one. <laughs> and then the back fishing deck, which is nice. I like this one because I had the steps. That was nice. You could sit up here. It's just is where you drove from. This one did have a tuna tower, which I did not climb up not gonna happen because that's on top of this so I was not doing that <laughs> I did like it it was nice this is our favorite boat that we viewed so my camera filming is a little janky here so sorry but you have a bed down there and then this is the bunk in that same room a little skylight kind of make it a little bit bigger it did have the drawers, which was nice. I've learned since 
the last time we went boat shopping how to open all drawers on boats. You have to lift up for most of them. This would be the master, which is the front cabin. They'd have the little storage. Now this was our favorite part. The kitchen area, it was so big and open. It was amazing. And this was the only boat we viewed that day that had air conditioning on, which I think I found. <laughs> but it was so nice. We sat there. We were probably there for an hour speaking with the yacht broker. We did like this boat. After viewing boats the second time, not really sure how we feel about this boat, honestly. It did have a little crack there. I zoomed in on that so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> Like some of the upholstery needs work in this boat, but coming from the Hatteras, that's nothing. Took me a minute to get this open. You can see the upholstery that needs to be done. The gauges were gorgeous. Like I loved how put together it looks and clean. she is this is our first time boat shopping i hope you guys enjoyed i will talk to you on the next one